This time I will show you how I created a monochrome pet portrait with colored pencils on sanded paper. For this project I used the UART Black 500 grade and well it's named black but it's more kind of anthracite so I color it first with a pan pastel and in that way I created a nice black surface. Then I transferred my line drawing to the UART with white Sorrel transfer paper. And then I'm ready for drawing the first layer with colored pencils. For this project I used the polychromos from Faber-Castell. They work really well on sanded paper. They blend beautiful, are light fast and keep their points really well. So that's perfect for fur. The first layer is just a base layer and it will become way darker when I use the fixative. But that automatically generates a mid-tone layer, so that's not a problem at all. But you have to keep that in mind when you use such a great contrast in one layer, so the black pan pastel and the lighter colors with the colored pencils in one layer. If you really want to prevent that, use the textured fixative first, before starting with your colored pencils. Drawing fur is really fun, but always study your reference photo <coughs> really well. So look for the hair length, look for the hair direction, and look for the tonal values. But of course, not every hair needs to be in place. The trick is to layer fur and to create fur that's not too regular. In general, I work from dark towards light, but that's just in general. When I want to create a darker piece, I can darken something that's light. This surface is really unique, because you can work darks over light and lights over darks. Totally different from working on hot press watercolor paper. And the surface allows me to work way faster than hot press watercolor paper. So the background just took me five minutes, I think. Okay, then I'm ready for spraying. I masked the background with a piece of my line drawing. And then I sprayed with the textured fixative from Russian pencil. The fixative renews the tooth of the paper. And that works really well for my next layer. In the end, you can see me using a white charcoal pencil that's from Koinor, and I created the brightest highlights with it. If you want to learn to draw this one yourself, I've created a Udemy course of this one where you can see the 24 real time videos and you can follow along. And of course, I provide you with the materials list, the reference photo, the line drawing, etc. There will be a link in the video description. And when you follow that link, you will get a nice discount. Well, gradually the cat gets its form. It's all about layering the colors. And again, I'm working from darks towards the lights. I really want to encourage you to try this system once. It's fun and it gives you a bunch of freedom. Well, I hope you like this video. It's not completely done, but it will be soon. If you have questions, never hesitate to contact me or post your questions below. I always try to answer them all. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss upcoming videos. And of course, see you next time. So let's color the world.